This video is going to show you how to use Excel to calculate population doubling times following the exercise uh, that you see here from the World in the Balance video uh, produced by NOVA. What we want to figure out is based on a constant 10-year population growth rate and a starting population of 50 individuals, how many decades will it take for that particular population to double in size? In other words, to go from 50 to over 100. The math is pretty straightforward. The starting population here is 50. In this um, example, the 10-year growth rate is 0.25. And to figure out the number of new individuals, you simply multiply those together. So 50 times 0.25 is 12.5, and we round that to 13. We add the 13 new individuals to the starting population size of 50 individuals to give us 63 individuals total at the end of that 10-year period. We can see here, we come back down now to after 10 years, that's the 63 that we saw here. And now each of those 63 individuals contributes to the population growth. So 63 times 0.25 gives 15.75. We round that to 16 individuals, add 16 to 63, and that gives us 79 individuals at the end of the second decade. So again, after 20 years, 79 individuals times the growth rate, gives us 20 new individuals, so 99 total in the population. That's really close to doubling, but isn't quite doubled yet, so we have to do one more time period. So after 30 years, 99 times 0.25 gives us 25 individuals, or 124 individuals total. So that's the basic step, and you can see it's not particularly difficult, but it does get a little bit tedious, especially if you're doing it for a population that has a slower growth rate. So it requires more decades before it uh, doubles in time. So we're going to show you how to do this using Excel to make life a lot easier. And then we're also going to graph the population growth rates in Excel. So you're, each group is going to be assigned five different countries. And you can see if you scroll down in this handout, you can see all the countries listed by region. So North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. South America, and so on. So the number that you need to find for each of the five countries that your group is assigned is that 10-year growth rate here. So I'm going to look at Honduras as an example, and you can look up on the data form to find that the 10-year growth rate for Honduras is uh, 0.258. So I type that in here. And then basically what we're doing is using Excel to fill out that table that we looked at um, a minute ago. So if we start off with our initial, we'll call that decade zero. We'll type in zero. Initial population size is 50, and the growth rate is 0.258. For the number added, we're going to use a formula because that allows us to copy and paste um, the formula, which helps us to fill in the information much faster. When you get to this cell, click uh, equals, select the initial population size, 50, multiply, which is the asterisk, by the growth rate, and that gives us the number of people that were added. Again, we want to figure out what the rounded value is, and there's a formula for doing this in Excel as well, so it's equals, when you type the word round, and open the parentheses, select the cell, so that's the number added cell, and then we want to tell Excel how many digits we want to use, so you hit comma, and because we're rounding to whole numbers, the number of digits um, after the decimal is zero. Close parenthesis and hit enter. So you can see 13 is 2.9 is rounded. Population at the end of the decade is equal to the initial population size plus the number of individuals that were added. So that gives us 63 individuals here. So to get Excel to notice where we're looking at, we need to get the 63 down into the starting size for end of decade one. So we can just easily type equals and then select that cell, hit enter, and we can see that in this um, part here. The growth rate, copy, paste it down. We're not sure how many decades we'll need, so we'll just paste down a few. And then the formula, is going to be the same. So we actually can select all three of these cells and then come down to where the cursor turns from a white plus into a black cross and select down. And this will fill everything in. Now you notice we aren't quite there yet because we have zeros and that's because we didn't copy the 
uh, reference back to the population at the end of the decade. So we can do the same thing, look for where the cursor turns into the black plus. You can also do that with copy and paste, either way. Fill that down, and now we're in good shape. We can see the population at the initial, how many individuals were added, what that is rounded, and then the total population size. And we can do the same thing to fill in, oops, fill in the decades. So decade one, two, and three. And you can see, because we weren't sure how many decades would be required, we ended up filling out more than we needed to. So we don't have to do anything here. We can just select and delete that. Um, it is interesting to note, however, just as a, a quick aside, you can see that that power of exponential growth, that, that constant growth rate, we go from adding 13 individuals the first decade um, up to adding 41 individuals in the last decade, and that's only a period of uh, 60 years. So pretty impressive increase in the rate of in the number of individuals that were added. But like I said, we don't need that right now, so we can just go ahead and delete those cells. Um, if you don't like the leftover bars or the leftover lines between the grids, you can come up to the borders and select no borders. So that gets rid of that. So the next thing we need to do is figure out what the next country is and what its growth rate is to repeat this process. The next country in this example is Colombia, and again we can use that handout to find the growth rate, which is 0.168. One thing we can do here, which is going to, again, make things go, go a lot faster, is we can actually copy this entire table, because we have all of our formula set up, everything is the way we want it, um, copy come down to the right cell, right below the Columbian growth rate, paste, and now we have all the information here. Now this still uses the growth rate from Honduras, so we have to change that as well. So we can delete those, type in 0.168 for the growth rate of Columbia, and then we can copy and paste that down. You can see here, so after three decades, we're only at 92 individuals, so we need to go a little bit longer. So we can copy and paste for our one more decade to get us to 107. Um, one thing that you'll note, if you try doing the trick of coming to the corner and dragging down, we'll do this. The problem is that Excel is going to add one to the growth rate each period, which is going to mess things up. So instead of doing that, you can either copy and paste in the correct values, or you can just do control C to copy and control V to paste, and it doesn't have that same problem. But you can see here again, we went overboard, so I'll go ahead and delete those cells. Type in four for the decade. And I'm going to repeat this with each of the five countries. So I will do that off camera, off screen, and then come back. Okay, you can see here the growth rates for Croatia, which has a low growth rate and takes a long time, 22 decades to double, uh, Kenya, and Australia. So this gives us the relationship between growth rate and the length of time it takes for a population to double. We also want to look at this as a graph. So to do that, we will copy the name of the country and bring it down just to some place out of the way on the spreadsheet. So I'm just copying it below here. Paste for Honduras. We need to know decades, so we need to have time. So copy decades. Paste it here. Oops, that was one too low, so let's drag that up to this part. And now we need the population. So we can start here and get the population at the end of the decade Note, however, though, at the beginning of this period, we have 50, so we actually paste starting in decade one. So right click and come up here to paste values. Uh, you can get it either by just clicking this uh, clipboard that has the one, two, three, or by going to paste special and then selecting down to find it here as well. So remember the population sizes start at 50, so we enter 50 here. And then we have our fourth decade. So what we're really plotting is what the population size is at the beginning of a particular decade. So now we can repeat this for the other countries. We have Colombia, copy, paste, 50 for that first year, population at the end of the decade, copy, and paste special. 
Okay, so I pasted all of the uh, population sizes down into this table. Uh, we can see that we only have decades 0 through 4 because that's all that Honduras required to double, but we see that other countries, all the other countries actually, took longer than four decades to double. So we can select the uh, five cells, come back down to where the white plus turns into the black cross, and fill down. And that gives us our table that's now ready to be graphed. To insert the graph, we first need to select all of the data, so all six columns, all of the rows, and then come up to Insert, and we're going to do a scatter plot. And we're going to choose the scatter plot that has the lines connected, and there's our graph. That's basically it. We only need to do a few modifications. Uh, the first is to give the chart a title, and we can just call this uh, Population Doubling Times. One of the other key things that you need on any graph is you need to have the X and Y axis labeled. So is this 140 people or is this $140, 140 pieces of pizza? Um, we have no idea. So we need to insert that. In this version of Excel, we can come to the plus here on the side, add chart elements, and click on axis titles. And that gives us both of the axis titles. For the Y axis, again, that was number of people, and the x-axis was eight. Oops. Did the wrong thing. Was time in decades. And that's pretty much the graph that you will need to turn in. You can turn this in, uh, it'll be one per group. To turn this graph in, you want to first copy it into a clean Word document. So you can control C to copy, open up that Word document, and control, control V to paste it. So here's our graph. And now you, when you print this out, it'll print out very cleanly instead of having all of the extra Excel calculations that we saw over here. So we just want to see the graph. And that's it.